Before I start, I just want to let you all know that I'm doing a giveaway. For every 10 signups I get into the Y Sisterhood, I'm giving away one free hour-long consultation. Current members are already enrolled, of course, and if you don't win a consultation but you need one, you can schedule that at girltalkwithguys.com. Now on to this topic. I got a question from somebody and I'm going to read it. Her question was, some men that I run across to and talk to on the phone ask me to send a sexy pic of myself. So I send one fully clothed so they can see my curves through my outfit. The man texts me back showing his fully erect member asking me, can I handle this big, you know what? What makes some men do that? It's a big turn off for me and lots of us women. Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to overproduce this video. Okay, I get this a lot. <laughs> um, to be quite honest, it's super simple. Most men who do this just have no respect for your boundaries. That's it. Um, they're not used to women having boundaries or being uh, stern and steady in their boundaries. They're not used to dealing with sure-footed women, and it's a test from them. It's a test to see if they can uh, you know, get quick, easy, uh, un a unearned access to you. Um, they don't have any intention on growing with you, on getting to know you, or any of those things. Uh, they're just trying to figure out how soon they can hit it, basically. And so when a guy does this, he's letting you know that he has no healthy fear of you. He has no uh, trepidation about offending you. He doesn't care about boundaries, and he probably doesn't care about the boundaries of a relationship either. I haven't met a respectful, faithful, decent person who just sends unsolicited d pics to women. I don't know that guy. And I've talked to a lot of guys about this type of stuff. I haven't met a guy yet that I respect who also sends unsolicited D pictures. Most men aren't desperate enough for attention or ass to do that. They just aren't. It can also be pretty threatening to a woman. So for a guy to risk making you feel threatened, he really doesn't care about your boundaries. He really doesn't care about your comfort levels with him. And he really doesn't care how he comes off. These guys kind of remind me of those flashers in the trench coats, the butt ass naked dude with the big trench coat on that just flashes people, right? That's kind of how this, this comes off to me. The second reason he might send one of those pictures is he doesn't see you as a woman of value. Uh, he doesn't respect women in a way that he, he sees anything outside of a sexual um, object to them, right? He's literally objectifying women and that's it. You are just a hole to stick it in. So the quicker you see that he's about that, the quicker he gets some, the quicker he's in and out. A guy sending you a D-pick like that, a guy is not thinking about having a relationship or respecting any woman for that matter. If you want to guess what guys calls women whores and bitches as if it's their first name, it's probably the guy sending D-picks to women. It just, it just is. I don't, again, there's a correlation between a man's respect level, a man's honor level, a man's integrity level, and a man's uh, a tendency to be abrasive and potentially threatening with sexual explicity. So um, for me, I just, I've never met a guy who didn't see a woman as just a hole to stick it in, who also was sending those pictures out to women who were not expecting them and, uh, and, and didn't employ a little bit more finesse. It's okay to be horny and people sext all the time, but unsolicited sexting is a red flag of narcissistic behavior. It's a red flag of uh, really a mental imbalance, quite honestly, because most normal people understand that there are societal standards that may not, be, may not need to be spoken about, but are expected of everyone, right? And men like that uh, are just outside of the box. And that's, you know, I get, apparently it works for them sometimes, but just don't be one of those girls that it works on. And many guys also know this, lust is infectious and arousal is contagious, meaning it can be passed on to someone else, right? Guys know that if they start doing that and they catch a woman off guard, right? Even if she's disgusted at first, sometimes she'll think about it and she'll take a second or third look at that picture. And if she's not one of those people who needs a softer entrance into the idea of sexuality, ultimately she'll start to have some images come into her head, the images that he wanted. So he's pushing her in the way that he wants her to go. Right now she has respect and she's like, I didn't want this picture or I'm deleting your number and all of this stuff, but she'll take a couple of looks at it. And if she's got a little bit of kink in her, she'll probably start to imagine the use of that thing that he just sent her. So he also knows that if he re-enters really softly and apologetically, which I see a lot of times, a guy send a picture like that and they're like, oh, oh I'm so sorry. He'll be so apologetic, so respectful on the back end because he he knows that if he just makes up with her, he's given her an image of him and he's given her an image of them together and he started creating sexual attention and now he's uh, sexual attention, sexual attention, I'm sorry. And now he's, um, you know, pretending to be a gentleman on the back end. Ultimately, sometimes we forget what people have done to disgust us and we give them other chances because we want something good to come of these situations. These women ultimately end up 
fooling around with these guys and doing a lot more than they wanted to, plan to, or, or ever wish they would with a guy or ever thought they would. So it's a great way to get a woman to betray her own standards and boundaries, to test her in this way, because we all like to think we're more moral and more, um, more upstanding and, and more smart and wise than we are. And some people just aren't. So, um, you know, don't be fooled. While it's uh, abrasive and while it's disgusting for some of you, Many women uh, actually have a very positive response to this in the long run. The first response is, oh my God, disgust. The second response is, hmm. <laughs> and guys know that. Uh, so just understand that that's what they're trying to do is trick you into a, a, a sexual um, um, uh, idea of them. Um, the last thing I want to tell you about these types of guys is they likely have perversion issues. This is a red flag for, you know, kind of unadulterated, uh, unchecked sexual perversion. Uh, again, if a man can't control himself or pretend to control himself, there's something wrong. Uh, so he's probably, he's probably consumed by his lusts. And again, if you're looking for the most faithful guy around, it's probably not Mr. Unsolicited Dick Picks. If a guy does that and you're looking for something serious, there's no point in ever calling him again or contacting him again or answering a text message if you're not looking for a casual sexual encounter, right? If a guy does that and you haven't asked for it, you're really not acquainted with him, you haven't been out with him, you haven't spent a lot of time with him, right? Like if he does that, there's no reason to ever contact him again because you know what his idea of you is and he, you know what his idea of his use for you is. So there's no reason to further investigate. Leave it alone. It's like finding the killer at the scene with the gun in his hand, with the barrel still smoking. Leave it alone. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Follow me at KFIC24 on Instagram. I'll get with y'all later.